following a warning from the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, that the present South African law does not adhere to the World Anti-Doping Code, this has happened. WADA's Independent Compliance Review Committee, CRC, recommended 10 changes in a statement issued on the 22nd of September. The Executive Committee of WADA acted to support those changes. The only two nations listed as not adhering to the World Anti-Doping Code are Bermuda and South Africa, according to the statement made by three anti-doping organizations. The Pan American Sports Organization Panam Sports, Bermuda, and South Africa are the two national anti-doping organizations, NADOs, in dispute, respectively. In the circumstances of the NADOs in South Africa and Bermuda, non-compliance is due to legislation that is not in accordance with the Springboks might be forced to play without the South African flag and be prevented from singing the national anthem in next week's Rugby World Cup quarter final as a result of the sanctions for breaking the code. The Proteas will also be subject to this in India for the Cricket World Cup, which begins on Thursday. For all signatories above, it should be noted that the decision, including the consequences, will enter into force on 14 October 2023, unless the non-conformities are corrected by that date, or unless the decision is appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport by the same date, stated WADA. Athletes, sports federations, and the general public were reassured by Sports Minister Zizi Kodawa in a statement issued on the 22nd of September that the non-compliance finding would not be implemented.